Oh, well, this is Bobby. Look up how to get it there. With a functionality proof of a Panasonic board TNPA 5341 after repair. Uh, we still haven't put the heat sink on top of it. This is one of the rare cases where the bottom board uh, was bad. And I put the handwritten signature here because I don't know where the customer have signed it. And this is the top board. I see something that is handwritten here. Maybe that is what the customer did. It doesn't really matter if uh, they put it there or somebody else. It's fairly unique. So this should serve as a indication of what was okay with the board. The top board is functioning fine. This is the image of the video. No missing lines. At where the IC was replaced all the way good to the top uh, again only the very bottom IC was replaced we still haven't covered it with silicone and uh, put the heat sink on uh, cleaning those and replacing them is not exactly trivial it's not uh, rocket science but it has to be done very carefully so uh, if you watch that video and you're not the owner of those and you're choosing choose somebody who has done that multiple times I wouldn't go for the cheapest one. Uh, ours is definitely not the cheapest and uh, hopefully not the most expensive, but this is uh, harder than many other buffer boards because of the silicone that they use at the bottom and because of how small, thin, the fragile the tracks are on the PCB and how easy it is to detach and break them. Uh, that's it again, the two working boards. Thank you to the customer.